This is Dr. Mark Trexler with The Climate Countdown. Today's topic, pre-mortems, an underutilized trick for overcoming one of the biggest challenges we face in tackling climate change, namely our discounting of the future. There are quite a few reasons that it's hard for us to get our heads around the risks posed by disrupting the climate, but the fact that we inherently discount the future is a big part of it. You're probably familiar with the idea of an economic discount rate, which assigns a specific number to the rate at which we do discount the future. Companies routinely use discount rates of 10 to 15% in their decision making, which in effect says they're assuming they can get a 10 to 15% rate of return on money invested today. At a 15% discount rate, a company would accept 50 cents today in lieu of $1 five years from now. 25 cents today in lieu of a dollar 10 years from now, and just six cents in lieu of a dollar 20 years from now. In this light, it's easy to understand why most companies don't look more than five to 10 years into the future, if that. Societal discount rates are quite a bit lower, since societal decision makers are supposed to be taking the long term implications of their actions into account. There's considerable debate over what societal discount rate should be, but 3% is pretty common. At a 3% discount rate, you'd insist on 74 cents in lieu of a dollar you'd otherwise receive 10 years from now, but just 23 cents in lieu of a dollar 50 years from now, and just 5 cents in lieu of a dollar 100 years from now. So yes, a lower discount rate encourages longer term thinking, but it's hardly long-term intergenerational thinking. In fact, the famous economist Lester Lave has a great quote. If the world were to disappear 25 or 30 years from now, it would make no difference to economists today. In other words, the whole economic way of thinking is inherently problematic for getting our heads around and responding to a problem like climate change, especially when we rely as heavily on things like economic cost-benefit analysis as we do. Is there a solution to this challenge? Behavioral economist Richard Thaler thinks so. He argued in a 2017 article that instead of focusing on post-mortems to explain after the fact why something went right or wrong, we should engage in pre-mortem thinking to understand now why a project or policy might go right or wrong in the future and hopefully adjust our current thinking accordingly. Thaler notes that research shows that by having to explain why something actually failed in the future, rather than just hypothesizing reasons it might fail, spurs more creative thinking, and that the same goes for solutions to tough problems. Having to proactively explain how a problem was solved might generate entirely new ideas about how we should be tackling that problem today. Thaler notes that many once prosperous companies would probably still be around if they'd carried out pre-mortems to hypothetically explain their future bankruptcies. And he asks how many more wars might have been avoided if someone had first asked, we lost, how? Premortems could be a boon to climate risk thinking and management, whether by scientists, policymakers, or corporate strategists. With all the discussion of net zero by 2050 today, for example, who's doing the premortem asking, net zero didn't work, why? And that's just for starters, both with respect to exploring climate risks as well as potential climate solutions. This is Mark Trexler with The Climate Countdown. Access more information on today's topic at our website, climatecountdown.climatesites.net. And thanks for listening.